the classic British transport calf. It's got a reputation for good old-fashioned comfort food, so it's the ideal place for me to road test my new trucker-friendly pies. I want to make a meal out of a full English by putting bacon and egg in a short crust pastry to make a delicious breakfast pie. But first, I need to do some research. So I've travelled to a traditional truck stop which attracts drivers from far and wide. It's 5.30 in the morning. I'm at a classic British truck stop and I'm here to eat some good grub. This is the pit stop, just off the M4, and it's a busy trucker's cafe with 40 covers. I've prepared many a five-star breakfast in my time, but something tells me a place like this is going to have something very different on the menu. I'm spending today with the front of house team, Julie and Chef Ali, cooking and dealing with whatever the road brings. Hello, Ali. Hi, are you alright? Yeah, are you coming in or are you going to stay there? I'd rather stay here, but you, no, you, you can come in. <laughs> all right. I've eaten at many truck stops in the past, but life behind the counter is new territory. That's a woman's one. That's the only ones we have. It's mostly women that work here. Look. I'll just stick this in the oven a minute. Hang on. I know what I'm going to do with this. I'll turn it to a chef's apron. Hang on. <laughs> there you go. So you're the exec chef. Well, I wouldn't say that. I'm one of the chefs. So I'm, what am I? Am I a commie today, then? You can do whatever I'll, you want I'll, today. Can I? Well, I can throw you in the corner and I'll have an easy day. <laughs> Listen. Till it gets busy and you'll be, please get me out of here. I will do, yeah. It's at the back door, yeah. It is. So I can run out that way. OK, that's fine, that's fine. I've got an escape route. So your orders come in, pop them all on there, serve, bang, and gone. Yeah. Because nothing is fried in here. Not a thing. Is fried. Not a thing is fried. What about the hash browns? They're done in the oven. OK, so that's totally changed everything straight away. To be honest, it's not what I expected. Why, because we're a truck stop? Kind of, yeah. But we don't having, having said that, where, where I'm from, the truckers' stops there are very different. This is like a posh area of the country there, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't say the we're posh, posh truckers. but we are. Well, yeah. The pit stop is down south, and I'm not the only one who's far from home. Front of house Julie shares my Merseyside roots. Where's your accent from? Birkenhead. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's about a mile away from where I'm from. So how does the gang all work? Is it good, just, good yeah, teamwork? We just, is it? Yeah, we just look after each other and, you know, get on with the dishes. Just teamwork. That's what it's and all about. Need team. And I love it. What would you say, then, would be the biggest seller in this cafe? The breakfast. Is it a traditional breakfast? Yeah, but that's a good seller. Yeah. Yeah. So it is still the bacon egg is a big seller. People people always yeah. gravitate towards that. And the ash browns they like with it. And what about, I noticed that also on your menu you have a Danish pastry or croissant or something like that. Do you get a lot of call for that? Truckers don't want croissants and that, unless they're French. <laughs> then they call me that, yeah. But no, it's not a big seller, no. So truckers don't eat pastries and they don't want fry-ups. They travel to this truck stop for the good quality breakfast, cooked Ali's healthy way. The doors open at 6 a.m. and it's not long before the orders come flooding in. So this is your traditional breakfast. This is a traditional. Quite massive portions. The portions might be big, but Ali's full English breakfast is pre-cooked. How hard can it be to plate up breakfast here? I've bust my egg. Do another one. Black pudding on this or not? No, it's just it? a traditional. If you eat a ticket, forgot to put your bacon as a breakfast, but they want beans, not beans on tomatoes. What? Traditional with just beans. He doesn't want tomatoes and he wants well done toast. All right, let me get the egg done and then I'll sort it out. Don't you start with me. Okay, so the customers do have a choice, and it seems these truckers can be a fussy lot. You're taking the Mickey now, aren't you? Keep it up underneath the light. You're winding me up, aren't you? Oh, it's nice to have something to fuss about. Is that just beans, that one? No, it's, it's a traditional breakfast with That's beans. What I'm saying. You know, one minute I'm up there, next minute I'm down here. I don't know what's going it's on. You're exercise. winding me up, aren't you? No, it's good exercise. And it's the egg toast and done. Okay, yeah. I'll get the toast done. And I'm just getting the hang of doing it Ali's way. What happens? The next trucker decides he wants his eggs poached. Have they been in the fridge, those eggs, Ali? No. How old are those eggs? They only came in yesterday. It's just him, he can't do a poached egg. <laughs> 
placing up for these truckers is not as easy as it seems, but I'm not here for that. I want to create the perfect breakfast pie and this fussy lot are ideal for a taste test. So, I'm going to make two to choose from and I'm stealing all their favourite ingredients for my pies. I'm sure they won't mind when they try them. The first is baked beans, sausages. Here I've got some onions which just just sweated off a little bit. And brown sauce. I've never actually used brown sauce in sachets like this before. My breakfast pie is topped with cheese and puff pastry. This is going to be a proper pie, a proper northern pie. The second is hash browns, scrambled eggs, black pudding, and then finally I've got some bacon and lay it on the top. Also topped with pastry. What I'm going to do is tack this to the sides of the metal tray. It actually reminds me of working in a bakery in Liverpool. We used to do this in the morning for the bakers because we were always hungry at about four o'clock. So we'd cook off some bacon and egg and actually turn it into a pie. It's delicious. Then they're baked in the oven for 15 minutes. There we have it. Two pies. Which one are the truckers going to like? Hi, guys. How are you doing? Here we go. Listen, what I've got here, right? Uh, two different types of pies. Fair play to you, mate. That's a hard choice. I'll go for that one. You go for the sausage. You go for the sausage and bean. Which one would you go yeah, for? I think I'd go for that one. Sausage, sausage and bean. That's a bit heavier. That is my kind of food. Bean oh, sausage yeah, with the onion. A bit yeah. of brown sauce in there as well. Absolutely. A little bit overpowering on a black pudding. Perfect. So, the sausage and bean pie is the outright trucker's favourite, but what does my sternest critic, head chef Ali, think? I think I know what sort of way you're going to go, if I'm honest. That's nice. Yeah. And you can really taste onion in it. You don't like black butter, do you? No. Nope. It's on a hide, it's nothing anyway, isn't it? I know, well, I'm trying not to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so, which one do you reckon, then? Well, they're both nice. Yeah. I prefer that one. Yeah. But that one, even with, I know I didn't eat the black pudding, Still nice, it's a nice combination. I've even managed to impress Ali. She also prefers the sausage pie. I think it uses up all the leftovers, doesn't it? We don't get many of them here, though. No, that's true. Thanks, Ali. Take care, you're a legend. You're welcome. Now, that was an exhausting morning. Time to hit the road. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself today, cooking at the Truckers Cafe at the pit stop with Ali and her team. And I've also discovered that pies really work in this sort of calf too. Now, I made two different pies, and yes, the overall winner was the sausage and beans and onion. But I'm going to stick with two key flavours that was in almost every plate that was served today, bacon and egg. I'm not finished with that yet, and that is why I'm going to stick with those two for my special pie. I've just got to think of how I'm going to serve it with a slight Hollywood twist and make it spectacular. I'll have a think about it anyway. You think I'm going to drive this thing? You must be crazy. I did enjoy myself with that transport calf, but Ali and Julie have joined me here. Now, I can't get away from bacon and egg, right? Bacon and egg works. You proved that yeah, yes. in your place. Everyone wants breakfast, everyone wants breakfast. And the whip was getting cracked with me. Uh, in that kitchen. Yeah. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a slightly different version of it, and hopefully you'll like this new one. Yeah, OK, All right? yeah. I think it's got more of a meaty edge to it, so it's got, I'm going to put pork in it and bacon and egg, and you're going to get a yolky egg in there as well. Yeah, that sounds a bit better. Sounds right. Right. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off... Now, I've got some onions which have been sweating here. Add some diced pork and streaky bacon. Again, I'm adding a little bit of fat to that as well. Now, if you want to pen the piece of paper... Whoa! They don't like grease. Don't get what? It's a misconception that. Oh, cut it out. Like grease, we don't have any fire. Yeah, that's yeah, but that's not the point. Some of the food that you cook inherently has got fat in yeah, it, which is going to create grease. We don't need to add too much. Yeah. I'm not. Don't you kick off it. This is my you kitchen. Do. This hey. is my kitchen <laughs> now. <Okay. laughs> yeah, you're not allowed. It says kitchen. Why are you using streaky and not using back? You don't know what I'm doing with it yet. No, we haven't. No. <laughs> give him a chance. Yeah, give me a chance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Find me more. Leave him alone. Let him get on with it and do it. In a separate bowl, add two whole eggs to some cream cheese. After being allowed to do that one. What, one handed? Yeah. You can't do it one handed. No. Really? 
and whisk. This is the binding for the filling. It does smell nice, actually. Well, of course it will be. Yeah. Pork and bacon and onion. Mm. So I'm just going to grate some cheddar in there as well. Cheddar. So this is all pretty much fat-free. <laughs> pretty much fat-free. <laughs> this is a proper northern breakfast, right? Mm. When the meat is starting to brown, it's ready. Leave it to cool, then add it to the rest of your filling mixture. Now that's your basic mixture for the pie. For the short crust pastry, I'm using plain flour, a whole egg, and freshly squeezed lemon juice. Stop the pastry from binding too much, it's a bit loose. Just gonna say, why are you putting the lemon in here? It breaks it down, just stops it getting too rubbery, you know, so when you bite it, it sort of flakes more than anything yeah. else. Right. Then add butter and mix until it becomes breadcrumbs. Add just enough water to bind it together to form a dough. I'm just going to work this pastry together a little bit. It's very, it's enriched, it's got the egg, it's got lots of butter in there. And you basically just knead it a couple of times so it's nice and smooth, pop it in the fridge. That will then solidify the butter. Then when you want to use it, bring it out about 10 minutes before, just to come back to room temperature, and you'll find it's lovely, smooth and elastic and good to use. Then roll it out. Get your shell, pop it in there, and line a baking tin. Then give it a trim around the edges. Now, there's the lid sorted. Then literally just pop all the filling mm, nice, into the pie. It does look nice. Now for the Hollywood twist that makes this a true breakfast pie. Now, I'm going to drop some eggs in this. Now, if you get a spoon and just make a little hole in there, I'll make another hole there. We'll have to have a go at this next week. Mm -hmm. Make another one there. So I'm going to put three eggs in there. So once you've made your little place to drop your egg, Crack your egg and basically just drop it in each one of those holes. And top with the lid. So again, trim around the outside. It'd be nice when it's cut, because you'll have all your thing and then like half an egg. Yeah. That's the idea, yeah. And because you've got the egg, I want to protect it. So what you do is just basically drop that down. Don't put too much pressure because you know you've got an egg just sitting inside. Then bake in the oven at 200 degrees C. You don't need to pierce the top at all. It's quite a meaty dish. You want to keep everything in there. After half an hour, once the pastry has gone golden brown, it's ready. Wow. And there you have it. Oh, that nice. nice. For me, that is a fantastic bacon and egg pie. Do you like that, ladies? It's very nice. Yes. Very nice. Do you think that'll work in the calf? I think it will. Yeah. We'll give it a go next week. That'll go good. Bacon and eggs wrapped in rich short crust pastry. The perfect trucker's breakfast. You're going to have to wait a little bit longer for us to try it, though, OK? Starving.